All right, everybody. This is athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz coming to you on May 3rd, 2021. And as I learned from my parents and my grandparents, anything worth doing is worth doing well. And one of the key things that we do around here in City Hall every year is prepare the budget. And it's a lengthy process. In fact, uh, budget preparation starts almost as soon as the prior budget is passed. And the underlying firmament of the budget is a set of goals that's assembled by the full county commission and myself every year through a series of retreats because we always want to start with saying, what is it we really care about? What is it that the athens Clark County community has informed us that it needs? And so stemming from these budget goals and, of course, the underlying needs of every day in the community to make sure that your streets are safe and that everything is functioning, uh, I have this week presented my draft of the budget to the community. And, of course, this is what you might think of as wet clay. It's still in process. And so there are going to be a series of meetings beginning on Tuesday, May 11th, where the county commission is going to continue to mold the budget as is appropriate. And so you can see that full outline of meeting dates on uh, accgov.com. But taking from everything that sits on my desk, from data to reports from staff members and emails from commissioners, uh, I've assembled a budget that pursues the core goals that the athens Clark County Commission and I have put together. One of those goals is to have informed and engaged residents so that all of you get the information you need to live successfully in Athens. And so through this goal, we are going to see the addition of a new community engagement coordinator in our public information office this year. Uh, you know, we're living in an age when traditional media doesn't do what we expected it to do at one point in time. And so we have to assume some of that role. Also pursuing the goal of informed and engaged residents, we're going to begin hosting a series of civic dinners so we can engage the full breadth of the community and hear from you what your needs are so we can continue to do our best work. We also, as a key goal, want to have a healthy and livable and sustainable athens Clark County. So we're going to continue to invest in the energy savings through a new conservation coordinator that work's already saved us $400,000 a year in operating expenses, and we believe we can go even deeper into those savings. We are also going to relaunch the full complement of Athens Transit routes that uh, we're returning to as we move through this uh, end phase uh, of the pandemic, the, the new normal, as everybody has said. And that's going to be a fare-free Athens Transit as proposed in the coming budget year. We also, in having a healthy and livable community, want to really focus on youth and employment skills. And so we're going to continue the three-year pilot permanently of the Young Urban Builders Program that we offer in conjunction with the Athens Land Trust. And we're also going to invest in our teenage population through a Counselors in Training Program. And finally, we're going to continue the Conservation Corps Program that helps our adult residents hone their workforce skills so that they can either be permanent employees with the athens Clark County government or folks who live here who are best situated to get strong employment opportunities in their lives. Another key goal is to have a safe and prepared community. And so the Safety and Justice Office that we launched here in fiscal year 2021 is going to continue to be very data focused on bringing us the safest possible community we can find. We are also going to relaunch the Police Youth Cadet Corps so that we engage with our high school student population for eventual work in the criminal justice sector as athens Clark County employees because, of course, we want our public safety officers to reflect the community and to be drawn from the community. So I'm very excited about this work. We're also expanding the Jerry Neesmith co-responder team that we co-fund with Advantage Behavioral Health Systems. And so we're adding four units, and we're also preparing for frontline behavioral health resources. So if somebody needs a non-armed mental health 
specific support on the street, we can provide that support. We also have as a significant goal the notion that Athens is a place of shared prosperity where we all benefit from the same things that keep our lives in motion. And so we're going to see some additional homeless supports, including a dedicated staff person in our Housing and Community Development Office, and that's going to help us tee up some of the things that we believe we'll be able to add over the course of this coming year and following years with American Rescue Plan funds which are going to be the subject of continued commission conversation through the summer and into the autumn. We also are formally launching an inclusionary zoning program so that we are incentivizing affordable housing units to be part of every new development. And so we've committed some funds to that in the coming fiscal year. Final goal I want to call out is that we are an accountable and responsive athens Clark County government. That means we treat our employees well and we take good care of them. So we're putting the architecture in place in the coming fiscal year to raise our floor wage to $15 an hour. We're also continuing the public safety pay plan so that all of our public safety units have a predictable career path and can stick with us career long. We're also recommending a 2% raise for all employees beyond public safety a human resources generalist to focus on minority recruitment, and exploration of funds to develop an employee clinic so that we can make sure that our workforce is healthy and can continue to serve you well year in, year out. Now, aside from the budget, there are just a couple things I do want to mention. Please, if you have not done so, get your shot. I'm three weeks out now from having my second. I'm glad I did was down for about a day after the second shot, then back up the following day. No big deal. You getting your shot means that we're going to have a community that's healthier and where businesses out on the street can function to their highest capacity possible. So if you're looking for the place to do that, go to accgov.com coronavirus and you can find out where to get your vaccine. Finally, I do want to let you know about one of our partner entities in the federal government, which is now hosting and has a web portal open for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which will allow bars and restaurants and other food and beverage outfits like caterers to be made whole coming out of the losses of the last year. So please look for information about that at www.sba.gov because we want you to go into this coming fiscal year as healthy as you could possibly be. Everybody, you've been such great supporters of this community. You've kept each other alive literally over the last year, and I know you're gonna to continue to do so. Please continue to contact me if there's anything I can do for you. Call my office, email me at kelly.gertz at accgov.com and I look forward to seeing you out there on the street in person. Be safe, and I'll be coming to you soon.